What's up everybody? Today I'm going to cook some 100% grass-fed ground beef from Aldi. So here I have my ingredients. I cut up some red onions and some pepper and I have here a half a pound of the grass-fed beef. And I'm going to top that over some cottage cheese. Alright, here we go. I got my pan already warming up. So I'm going to take some olive oil and give the pan a little coating, just a little bit. Go ahead and swirl that around. Let that warm up. Make sure it gets nice and hot. And you. I cut up the ingredients beforehand. You can do that any time, but I normally leave the fire running. That way, let's see, should be hot enough. Let's see if we get the sizzle today. Yeah. Then I just dump everything in there. And the stragglers, throw it right on in there. And this 100% grass-fed beef from Aldi is an 85-15. So I may not have needed the olive oil, but it'll be all right. Today, it is about 12.45 in the afternoon, and... I already technically broke my fast. I had some dates. But I'm still going to keep it low carbohydrate. This is just going to be a protein and fat meal right now. And then later on, I'll have my meal with the carbs. And as recently, I've been filming this with the Filmic Pro app with my iPhone 6S. Um, the stats here are 1080 at 50 frames per second. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning. I have some Mediterranean fine sea salt. I'm going to add that in. And I keep my seasonings kind of simple sometimes. Sometimes I use a lot of onion powder and garlic or fresh onions. Well, like I'm doing now. Just for the taste and for the mineral content, for the sulfur. But today it's just going to be salt and pepper. And like I mentioned before, I don't really like my beef to be well done so we'll keep a close eye on this kind of mix it up a little bit now i'm going to turn this fire up and give it a little cook and i'll be right back now one of the health benefits of eating grass-fed beef is grass-fed beef has a ample amount of conjugated linolytic acid, CLA for short, and a lot of us humans don't get that because the, the beef that we eat, the meat that we eat is not naturally fed. You know, cows naturally eat grass as opposed to grain and corn. So that's one benefit of having grass-fed beef. Now I'm going to give this a little bit more sizzle. And I see that this 15% fat actually gives off a little bit more oil than I like. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. Matter of fact, a little bit more sizzle. 
we are going to turn this fire off. Okay, so this is a little bit more oily than I like, so I'm going to go ahead and do the old drain technique. And I'll be right back. All right, now that has drained and rest a little bit. I've already got my cottage cheese in the bowl, so probably gonna waste a little bit of this. Pour that right in there. Ah. Grab the stragglers. Bring this bowl right on over here to the light. And there you have it. One of my favorite meals. Proteins, vitamins and minerals with the pepper and the onion, and protein and fats with the beef. Just mix that in. 